Here are three Excel shortcuts to save you time. Number one, if you have a long list of data, you can't see the headers whenever you scroll down. So to keep them in view, use Alt W F R. This will freeze the top row and now the headers stay visible even when you scroll. Number two, let's say that you want to jump to cell B500. Instead of scrolling all the way down, just type the cell address into the name box Press enter, and Excel takes you straight to the cell. Number three, let's say that you want to switch columns C and D. All you have to do is select one of the columns, then click on the edge of the selection and drag it over the other one. Now hold the shift key, release your click, and you've switched the two columns. Here are three Excel shortcuts to save you time. Number one, if you have a long list of data, Stop showcasing bars like this in Excel. It looks terrible. Instead, let's use the repeat function, then choose the pipe symbol before selecting our percentage column and multiplying it by 100. Excellent. And now grab the bottom right corner and drag down. Then let's go up to the toolbar and increase our font size before changing our font to Playbill. And you're done. Make sure to follow for more Excel tutorials like these. Excel index column at three different levels. Beginner, just type manually and expand below. Intermediate, use a formula and copy it down. Master, use the powerful sequence formula. Leave a like and follow us for more tips. Here I have a list of values that I want to copy across to column A. Alright, I want to copy all this to column A. I could copy them one by one, skipping the cells that do not have values. Alright, but that will take a long time. There is a quicker way to do this thing. The first thing you need to do is to select your data, copy it, select your destination all right go to paste paste special and skip blanks and press ok now this is how to copy values skipping empty cells please subscribe to this channel do not try to convert the range of numbers to percentage like this don't do it Rather do it this way. Locate an empty cell, put 1%, copy 1%, select your range of numbers, go to paste, click on paste special, click on multiply, press OK. 
this is how to convert the range of numbers please subscribe to this channel in this video i am going to show you how to convert negative values to positive in excel enter minus one in an empty cell copy it select the range of negative values click on paste special click on multiply this is how to convert negative values to positive in excel please subscribe for more videos